Hey, shalom, I want to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Double honest, possibly, and best, and honest, you brothers doing the work in truth, war sincerity. Netanyahu threatened Israel at loan against Iran and Syria. Right, so this is uh, Marty News. It says Israel will stop at nothing to contain Iran, even if it has to act alone. Right. Uh, and you can see that, you know, why that, that would act out and the way it would act out. Um, and also, first things first, it's written in the prophecies, man. It's written in the scriptures that, you know, these things will, uh, these things will happen, right? So, uh, I'll go into this while, while, while it's still, I'll just load that up, uh, as well. Uh, what is it? Yeah, yeah, can And I'll show you why. This is a fulfillment of prophecy. And you know, same day, another one says Israel ready to share intelligence on Iran with Saudi Arabia, IDF chief, Israeli defense force, something like that. Um, so, yeah, you know, there's drums of war being beaten. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, this, this is good times. Like, we see this, and uh, it was beautiful because when I was posting, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful, man. You're seeing all these things. You see, look, man, we're almost out of this bitch, we're almost out of this kingdom. When you know it's the worst time to be falling out because literally it's it's you know it's it's sooner than when we believed, man. Right, so Jeremiah 49 and 20 says, Therefore, he the counsel of Yahweh that he take against Eden, right? Eden being a so called white man, right? And wherever basically what, what he set up, so America, Israel is going to get destroyed, London's going to get destroyed. Right, so when you read Second Nezus, it talks about the pride of their cities, right? It says, and his purpose is that he hath purpose against the inhabitants of Teban. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. And that's talking about these God right? Jews over there. The ones that have stolen our identity. The ones that will, you know, that, that walk around, uh, you know, trying to claim that they're us with no flavor, no soul. Yeah, you've got Jake amongst them. But for the most part, man, he, he's, he's a some... You know, some fucking Amalekites, man. Amalek being the chief house of Eden, right? And this here is, you know, the apostles were saying it a long time ago, man. Hey, hey you know, apostles broke it down. Hey, man, let's talk about them gutter rats, man. They're going to do something stupid, man. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, basically pull, pull, pull the, uh, what do you call it? Pull America into a war, right? This is Ezekiel 33, 33. says, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall it know that a prophet hath been among them, right? So basically saying, when these prophecies come to pass, and here's the thing, hit low it will come, and just on that point, it's Isaiah 55 and 11, says, so, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where whereto I sent it. Basically, the Lord saying, look, man, if, if I've said it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Right, which is what it's saying here, lo, it will come, right, so it's saying, and when these come to pass, then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them, so when these scriptures, when these prophecies are being fulfilled, right, you know, then then you're going to start having, going, oh shit, hey, hey, maybe the apostles of GMS are right, hey, may, hey maybe Nate is full of shit, you know, you've been having all, all of the things about, um, the mark of the beast coming up, there's another prophecy here that's coming to pass as well, Right, but Israel doing something stupid, wherein drawing you know these countries out. And why is it stupid hitting Iran? Because yeah, they might have they, they you know it is commonly believed they have nukes, right? So why is it stupid for 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 Israel to hit Iran because of this? Right, it's Ezekiel thirty eight from the top says, and the word of Yahweh came unto me saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, right? Um, so that's now inhabited by 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 those so called Russians, man. You know, who are Edomites themselves. Yeah, you have Jake amongst them. Right, I believe, um, actually, I, I don't remember that too well, so I won't say that. But it says, um, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy against him. It says, and say, thus saith the Lord, power, behold, I'm against thee. Right, now they're saying I'm against, because like I said, Russians are Edomites too. It says, O oh Gog, right, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. says, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy drawers. And I'll bring thee forth, and all thine army and horse, horses and horsemen, and all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company of bucklers, shields, all of them handling swords. Right, so basically, bring all of your military might, take it all, right? Put hooks in thy jaw, because, right, you know, after the, uh, 
fall of the Soviet Union, man, they, they you know, they, they kind of, you know, went into the background and America just, just, just got dominance all over the entire world, right? But basically said, put hooks in it, you'll go back into that superpower wanting uh, state that, 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 that Russia used to have, used to, those desires that they used to have, right? It says Persia, and what's Persia? Persia is a run. Where the name was only changed, I think, uh, uh, begin, uh, early 1900s, if I'm not mistaken. Well, we, per, Iran's a relatively new name, right? It's known as Persia. It's Ethiopia and Libya with them. All of them with shield and helmet. Goma, Goma being Turkey. And you've been seeing Turkey's relationship sour with, with, with NATO and the US and warm to Russia, right? Further proof of these prophecies coming to pass. This is the house of Togomar and the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyselves, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, uh, and, and be thou a guard unto them. Right, so you saw, it, uh, would you call it Iran being supplied with, um, no, you saw Syria and Turkey, I think Iran, I don't know if Iran's actually got S400s, I believe, I'm, I'll, I'll be surprised if they don't. Um, but you know, even still, if, if 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 Israel were to start going in there, this prophecy has to be fulfilled. Russia will go, and they will, you know, retaliate. Right, and that's going to bring about, you know, a, a, a you know a stronger, a bigger war. Right, and lead this on to our last scriptures, Joel jo well, three, um, from verse nine says, "Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: Prepare war, wake up the mighty men." Is he get back into that warrior mentality? Get, you know, get get in, get into that war, right? It says, let all the men of war draw near, and let them come up. It says, beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears, right? So, you know, it divert all that money, you know, from agriculture and just 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 straight just burn it on on the military, burn it on the military. Because the thing is, you got to pay your military men for one, your 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 bullets. Your guns, your, your your military vehicles, your your missiles, all of that, that's costs money. So let the weak say I'm strong. You look at it, you've got countries like India, Pakistan, they've now got nukes. Right? You, you, you know, and what are India and Pakistan? They just, for the most part, countries where you've got herders, goat herders and shit. Right? It says, assemble yourselves, come all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Did the cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh? Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, right? Jehoshaphat and the Hebrews, Yahweh Shaput, the valley of the Most High's judgment, right? Yahweh Shaput, right? It says, For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about, put ye in the sickle. <laughs> hey man, the sickle, that's the sign of uh, the, the USSR. It's for the harvesters reap, come, get you down, for the press is full, the fats overflow. For their wickedness is great. <laughs> yeah, but hey, hey, do I need to speak on the wickedness of this kingdom? It says, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. Right, the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their light. Right, so you know, I might as well finish this first next two chapters. It says, the Lord Yahweh also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake, shall shake because of the nuclear missiles hitting it. When you read um, Isaiah, it talks about the earth reeling to and fro like a drunkard, right, when all the missiles hitting it and shit. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel, right? So, all, you know, the elect, they're going to, you know, be the hope. The how is going to be the hope of the elect, man. You know, you read, uh, what you call the book of Revelation, it talks about how the elect, when these missiles are being dropped, will stand in the firmament, in the sea of glass, right? Basically watching over the earth, getting burnt up in the missiles whilst they're in the chariots. You know, watching it from above, above the above the ozone layer. Right, it says, and the strength of the children of Israel. Right, because when you read that, it talks about, you know, bring bring the heathen nations together to fight. Right, so, so shall you know that I am Yahweh, your God, dwelling in Zion. Right, Zion meaning monuments is my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and they shall no stranger pass through her anymore. Right, so, like I said, I just wanted to bring that out with you, share that with you. Lord, will you be edified? And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom.